guys, my name is Alex and today we are building a terrarium and today I have a special guest with me, Josh. Hello everybody. So Alex, what is a terrarium? A terrarium is a miniature garden inside a tube. Like this tube? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? So the first it's thing that you do is you put in a layer of topsoil. But not all of it. Not all of it, about three fourths of, of an inch, right? About. So we're just gonna put in about. Oh, that's enough. Okay, yeah. like that, right? And then you wanna make it a little bit even, right? And then you also wanna kind of press it down and make it firm. And now put it back on the thing and then push it down firmly with your hand. So you wanna push it down firmly a little bit with your hand, and then we spray it. You want to make the soil <laughs> very moist. That's enough. Okay, excellent. Now, what we do is we put in another layer of these blue, what do you call this? Sand. Blue sand. Okay, but first we have to cut it open, and then you're going to put a layer down. As much as I want, because Next to there, I might make a little pond. And we have these two little figures. Here. All right, so this is open if you want to pour that in. All right, so you're going to put the whole thing in. No, I'm going to reach in for a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, sounds good. Now what do you do? I put some water. After every layer, you put water on, right? Yeah. Lots of water. So what do we do next? We put the rocks on. Now we put some rocks on. Four. Good enough. All right, perfect. Okay, yeah, then you make it, it spread it out even, right? They kind of look like there's powder. Yeah, got some powder on there. Then what do you do? More Spray. water, of course. Terraniums need lots of water. What do we do next? Soil. More soil, that's soil, right. Soil, soil, soil. After the soil, we gotta spread it again and wipe it. Now we're gonna spray it. Okay. How much water do you want to spray in there? A lot of it. A lot of water? So it could be nice and moist for the seeds, right? Yeah. I'm gonna spray this. Yay. Perfect. So now you've got a nice little layer of soil, sand, rocks, rocks and, more, and soil. more soil. And now you put these little guys anywhere that you want to, usually a little bit closer to the side or to the walls, so you can have more room for the seeds to grow. Or right in the middle. I put the house kind of in the middle. Okay, are you done? I'm already a little done. I'm done. So now we put the seeds on top of the soil. So please put some seeds on the soil. I'm done. All right. And you just dump them all yeah. over the terrarium. You try to get them inside. All there you go. Oh, okay, perfect. You did all of them. Perfect. Oh, maybe okay. Not all of them. Now, <laughs> now what we do is we take this little stick, this <laughs> stick, and you push the seeds into the soil. So please, Alex, show us how it's done. I'm just gonna make little holes and put the seeds in there and cover the hole up. Okay, perfect. Simple, easy, simple. Uh, and simple. if you'd like, you could use the remaining amount of rock and put yeah, them around the little figurines there and make it nice and cute, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to yeah. do that, that's why you leave a little bit of rock left, because then you can, and then the, the seeds will grow in, up in between those. All right, so just going to drop them in there a little yeah. bit. All right. Let me swallow it. That's okay. You can move them up a little bit. So you can make the terrarium any which way you want to make it. Yep. But though, you got to make the layers. Like it says. So far, and now 
what's the next step? Stickers, stickers. Okay, so Alex, so what kind of uh, plants are going to grow out of this? Well, I actually don't know. But on the, the box, it shows us. It's like... What does it say? Some... It looks like some grass and some other plants. They look uh, fake, but they are not. So why do we need to have layers built up in order to have these things grow? Is it just like the regular earth? Yeah. Yeah? So what are some of the other things that are needed for this terrarium to do well? The water, of course. The layers. What about some sun? Yeah, and some it needs sun. some sun, and right? It needs lots of sun. It needs lots of light because plants need, need light. lots of light, right? Lots and lots and lots of light. And water. Yes. And nutrients. Yes, need water. So basically, a terrarium is a miniature garden inside of a jar, just like the outside. Yes. Perfect. I'm gonna take a different flower. So what kind of stickers are you putting on? This is what I've got so far. I'm gonna put this little butterfly on the jar right there. It's a like it's a, it's a monarch butterfly. Okay. Now what are you gonna put on? I'm gonna you got put some, on this little. What's that called? I'm not sure actually. Well, I know, but I do not remember, <laughs> which usually happens to me. Okay. This is the little tiny ladybug. That's the ladybug. Let's put one on the on the jar and turn it around and show them. Yeah. There we go. And let's put it right there. Yes. Okay. Perfect. It's okay. Flying. All right. Is that enough, or do you want to do more stickers? I want to do this. Bee. You want to do more stickers? Bee. What do you put on? A bee. I'm gonna put this bee. bee. A bumblebee. Okay. Bumble Bumblebees are very very important. Yes. Because yes. they pollinate the flowers. They go from flower to flower. Flower to flower. And then they pollinate. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. It's very cute. You put Cover the up. lid on. Lid on. You s screw it on. And one thing you must do for the plants. You have to put the terrarium you made next to the window so the sun can give light to it, and then it the plants could grow. Turn it on. You also has a little light that you can turn it on. So hold it up and it's show people. It's a night light. So yes, yeah, so you can see inside, and that's your terrarium. And we'll check back in with everybody once it starts to grow, and you can see the the end result. <laughs>